Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm packing for Go Wild and I'm taking you along with me. So today I'm sharing with you what I'm packing, how I'm packing everything. So if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. Okay planners, let's talk about Go Wild and packing. So here's everything that I'm taking with me. Again, I am a first time go wild llama <laughs> and this is everything that i'm taking and i hope that i have everything that i need um as of now i'm kind of just sharing with you guys how this is going to go down um probably on wednesday i'm going to check off with my planner and make sure that i have everything because i don't have any of my chargers so all my techie stuff is not in any of these bags but i do I definitely have room in this tote so first off i have this huge lug luggage here and this has my clothes and shoes. And then on one side is empty for swag, but right now I have my table mate gift things in there. And then this is a tote that I will be carrying and it has planner stuff, um, my snacks, um, jewelry bag, headpieces, or just one headband. And then um, some miscellaneous things because this tote bag has pockets all around the side and so it has my planner stuff. So I will be carrying this on my shoulder. This I will be rolling um, and then this other bag, which at first I didn't really have, but as I started packing on Monday, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna get this to fit. Unless, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, I have this big luggage here and I could not get like my shoes plus my hair tools and toiletry stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this other bag that I have. It's a Vera Bradley foldable rolling bag. And it actually will sit on top of here. I did have this tote bag to sit on top of here, but I'm just gonna carry this on my shoulder. This is gonna be on top of here. And then I will have this backpack as my everyday bag. So that will be on my back. And then over there are two gift bags um, for my roomies. So, I think I'll be able to manage. I'm not even flying though, I'm driving, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, so let me open this up and share with you how I have my luggage packed. Here's my luggage open. So on one side I have um, all my clothes and then I have my shoes on top. I don't have my shoes on the bottom because they're boots and I don't want them to get ruined. So that's why I have them on the top. And then this suitcase, I think it's a medium size. So when you see luggage sets, they always have like the carry-on, then they have a medium size, and then they have the large like check-in bag. I know for sure that this one is not a carry-on and it's definitely a little bit smaller than a check-in. So I'm sure it's a medium. I, I don't remember that. I don't have the tags or anything like that. So, um, and it's nothing fancy. It just has this one um, zipper side. So on that side, my, initial thought was okay all that's going to be for swag <laughs> so i'm hoping that will be okay for swag and then this rolling bag actually has space a zipper pocket at the bottom that normally i put shoes in that bag at the bottom um so i think i have space for swag <laughs> so i think i'm good so again it's nothing fancy it's just a little divider section and here I have my bag of swag stuff that I'm going to actually assemble there. I think it would be a lot easier to prep some things um, like the goodie bags I want to decorate and things like that. So I just have it here just to share with you guys on how I'm packing. So this whole section here should be good for swag. Okay, so I use the Erin Condren um, folio little baggies to put my shoes in. So these have my boots in them. And so I'm taking dress boots, I'm taking slippers and sandals in here. So I have, those are my shoes on top. And then I have this hat here, I'm taking one hat. Um, this is two bags together. So one has undergarments and they're both sectioned. Um, that's why I have two bags in here. So hopefully that makes sense. So I have like my socks and undergarments and bras, but they're in two separate bags. And then this purple packing cube is all my pajamas and leggings and just um, some extra activewear. 
I brought a swimsuit. I don't think anybody's gonna be at the pool because of the weather. It's just insane for Go Wild in SoCal. So, but I just brought it just in case. So all that is in there with my Disney ears and sweater. And then this large packing cube, this is my handbag that I'm taking, extra handbag, um, has like my jacket and every other outfit in here. So I'm kind of shocked that everything fits in these cube um, packing cube things. I got mine at TJ Maxx. Um, the purple ones I ordered off of Amazon. But everything is in here. And yeah, I just didn't want to put my shoes at the bottom because I didn't want them to get swooshed and, and ruined. I think if you have tennis shoes and flat sandals, I think it would be okay. But because I'm bringing like dressy boot heels, I didn't want them to get messed up. So I'm putting my clothes first. And these are pretty squishy. So that all fits really well. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I didn't have this extra bag? How in the world would I get my toiletries in here with my blow dryer, straightener, and curling iron? I'm bringing all three. I, you know what? It would fit if I didn't have to bring a bunch of stuff back. So I was like, how do other people do it? <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, for this bag, so this is like a Vera Bradley... I don't know the name for it, but it's bigger than their, it is a like, um, a larger tote bag. It's not, it's not like a weekend or anything like that. If you guys can tell, it's a pretty decent bag, but I don't know the name for it. It could be a Glinda. I'm not really sure, but I love this print. I actually bought this set when I went on a cruise with my mother-in-law back in 2017 or 2016. It's super pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to haul this on my shoulder and again I have my snack bag in here and I have my planners in here and then this I think I'm going to fill up with washi and just other planner things um, because apparently there's going to be a crop night on Friday and then maybe I'm thinking you know what I could take my um, my portable printer to print photos off of I have the Canon Ivy so I could put that in there with its charger and everything. This thing is huge. I actually really, really love it. And it's super soft. And then with this tote bag, it has a bunch of pockets all the way around. So that is just for miscellaneous things. Like I have bathroom spray. I have a lint roller. I have um, some plastic wear. And then I have some Clorox wipes. And then I don't like to put my jewelry and things like that in here either. I'm scared it'll get squished and stuff. So anytime I'm traveling, if I have an, when I have a carry-on or a tote or anything like that, it always stays with me. So I have all my jewelry in this little happy planner bag. And then I'm taking one headband because I have hair clips and um, I'm wearing a hat. So I love wearing hats. So that's, that takes care of my hair stuff. I will share um, my toiletries because it's so cute. I found a way to use the Erin Condren little um, accordion bag. It's so cute. Okay. So again, this bag is like a foldable roller. So it's like a duffel shape, but um, you can carry it or you can actually, there's a handle and you can roll it. It's just not the sturdiest because of its shape, I think. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm glad I thought about taking this because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how everything's going to fit. So, again, it's like a little duffel, super cute. It has zippers on the side, and then you guys can see that zip around. It has um, a, like a little space in the bottom. So I have my blow dryer, I have my straightener, I have my curling iron, and this bag also has like um, pockets. Not on that side, but on this side, like mesh pockets. And then um, I have this big bag. It's like a nice standing bag. This has like all my main toiletries, like razor, shampoo and conditioner, face stuff, um, hand soap, my headband, face wash, 
Um, sunscreen. What else is in here? Oh, that mirror. Floss, Q-tips, like all the essential toiletries will be in this one. So I can I can put it on the counter and everything can stay in there except for the stuff that needs to go in the shower, I guess. And then I have my loofah. This neat thing is really cool. So in here, I put my makeup because I was struggling with that. You guys, if you've been watching my channel or maybe I shared on Insta stories, but I had a cute little leopard, neon leopard makeup bag that I bought. Well, that didn't work because I had this bag and I was like, it would be just too many bags, right? So I was like, I'll just try to use this. So in here I have all my um, eye stuff, like eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner. That's what's in there. And here is my face products. So I have um, setting spray, primer, foundation, powder, blush, bronzer. And then in here are all my makeup brushes that I just cleaned. So I didn't get the bag dirty, but I plan on um, taking a Ziploc bag or a paper towel. So I need to put that in here so I don't forget. So, you know, in case it does um, get some makeup on it, but I'm sure these are really easy to clean. It's a super thin uh, material. So probably like a wipe and clean would be great um okay so in here is my deodorant i'm gonna put my perfume in here i bought a rollerball and then um lotion and then my lippy stuff is in here so that's nice because then i can put whatever lipstick or whatever i'm wearing in my backpack because i also have a little essential bag in there for things okay in here is all my hair stuff um, so leave-in conditioner, dry shampoo, hairspray, and then a um, heat protectant. And then this last one is all my hair clips and ponytail holders and stuff like that. So this thing is super cute. Um, if you checked out my Insta story at first, I had my toiletries in here right and i had my makeup in that leopard bag and i was like oh, this is just gonna be too much bags because then i had this one so then i just put everything in this bag and just stuffed it completely because i had my loofah in here and it just took up too much space and i actually like getting those every time i travel and then i just throw them away so i won't have to worry about that when i pack but um yeah i think this turned out really cute i I love that. So that's how my toiletries and beauty stuff is packed. Okay, so here's a view of how I'm gonna carry this into the hotel. Um, again, this is not meant to stack on a, a suitcase because it doesn't have the slip like this tote does here in the back. So essentially, I remember I said I had this at first and this was gonna stack on my suitcase, but I was like, how am I gonna take everything else? So, um, this worked out perfectly. It's just, you can see it's a little bit wider, um, but it's okay. It's just, what's going to work. We're going to try it out. So I have these straps buttoned in the back. So then I'll have my backpack on my back and essentially I'll be carrying this on my shoulder and then I'll have those for my hands. So in my little backpack here, this is what I will be carrying at the conference and Disney, um, and then I have a little small handbag that I shared with you guys when I go to dinner. Um, so this is really cute. It's pretty small. Um, I ordered it from Modern Chic um, from in on Instagram. And this one's called the Amelia. And I think I shared on Instagram some bags that I was looking at. But that one was a little bit larger and I wanted something a little bit smaller. But then I'm thinking maybe this is too small. But it's super cute. Um, it has like these straps for a backpack and they're adjustable and then it has this slip pocket in the back with a zipper it has this detachable um shoulder strap which is nice but it doesn't adjust so it's just this one length um i tried to put my ec ones on here it just didn't look good because because this bag looks super small i feel like the ec straps were just too big i mean they're a little bit wider and yes i did buy the erin Condren bag um back around christmas time to take with me but i just figured a backpack would be a little bit easier so it could be hands-free and then um 
I'll share my bag. It just, because it's canvas, it has cat hair all over it and it faded really badly. So I uh, just, I'm not a fan of the canvas EC bags, but I love the straps that I bought <laughs> um, for that bag. Okay, so it has this handle here, it has this wide opening. So um, I have my planner and my pouch here that I shared. I think I have a live on this, on this setup. So that's my planner. And then I have my petite daily because I just posted on my Instagram that the bands snapped in my folio. So now I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I really, I'm still gonna take it. I think I have it in here, but I will just put my daily in here for when I go to the conference days. So in here I have my sunglass case. I have this bag that I bought in 2020. This is from Allie according to Allie, and I'm gonna put my snacks in here. Then I always have like any purse or handbag that I carry, I always have like an essential bag. And this, I love that I'm using a bunch of my planner bags, I really do. <laughs> this is Shine Sticker Studio, and then in here I have like Band-Aids, I have lotion, I have medicine, I have blotting paper, um, tie-dye, tie-dye, um, tide, tide pen, a tide pen. Um, and I have my only pen so far. This is from According to Allie. I'm gonna put this on my lanyard when I check in. But um, I'm gonna have my lip stuff in here, chapstick, stuff like that. And then I have my own lanyard because I'm thinking about this being my wallet. Um, I'm just, I'm really bad about that when switching. I just don't wanna forget anything. So I'm either gonna put that there or in here. And then this cover does have like um, slots to put your wallet and stuff in, but I mean your cards. So we'll see. I just, I'm really bad about like switching things and I just don't want to lose it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what's in this little bag. So pretty much this stuff does fit and I can't really do this with one hand because this backpack is pretty tiny. Um, I didn't want to take like a large backpack because I knew when I went to Disney, I I wanted to have a smaller bag and not like this huge like school backpack. So this actually worked out perfectly. I think I need to take them for both conference days. My planner, maybe just for Saturday because the first day I think is sponsored tables. So maybe I'll just take it for Saturday. And then obviously Friday night is crop night. I'm not sure 100% what it, everyone's gonna be doing or whatever but yeah so I'll get that in there but that is everything that I'm taking with me to my first go wild I hope that um, you guys got some tips out of this um, if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below and thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye